Mongoose again and it's time for another Overlooked Gems episode and yeah I've been looking forward to getting more of these episodes out so yeah let's crack on with this one. The last one was Beautiful Draw on PS2 and this one is C12 Final Resistance on the PlayStation 1. Ooh, intense stuff. Yeah, so this is basically just a third person shooter. Um, it was released back in 2001 um, in the PAL regions, but 2002 in North America, I believe. So it's probably why the game was overlooked, you know, everyone was kind of moving on to PlayStation 2. But because it was such a late release, the developers really knew what they could do with the PlayStation 1. So, you know, they took full advantage of, um, of all the capabilities they had. And the first thing you'll notice when you're plonked into the game is it looks very good for a um, PlayStation 1 game. It's not all polygony in a kind of, you know... The, there's lots of textures in the in the areas that you're in whether it be the floors or the walls or the objects in the place are very well textured that's one thing i will say you know it looks very very good the game <laughs> It's also there to give you information on your immediate surroundings. Well, for PS1 anyway. Uh, right, you play as um, Lieutenant um, Riley Vaughan and basically you're some kind of cybernetic, cybernetic badass soldier and what's happened is aliens have come to Earth in the near future and they're basically um, harvesting with carbon resources or something and you've just got to kick their ass as part, as, as part of the resistance really. Um, you're armed with like this crazy like kind of scythe or sword thing but you can pick up guns as well and both work really really well Yeah, so combat's always fun. Now, another standout part of the, of the game for me was definitely the music. It's very atmospheric, um, you know, and foreboding in certain places, especially, you know, when you're creeping around in the dark and you don't know where the next enemy's going to come from. So, yeah, that definite standout point of the game for me was the music. creepy stuff. Now what I will say about the game is it's very similar to Siphon Filter in you know controls and play is very similar and something that reminds us of Siphon Filter is definitely the first person view aspect of it where you know you'll survey things in the in the area and maybe it'll help you advance maybe you know it'll tell you you need to destroy like some electric thing that's electrified a walkway so you can get back across it and you know progress as far as the story goes. <laughs> Something like that would absolutely blow my mind, you know, back in the day I'd kind of love that sort of puzzle aspect and just, you know, in inspecting the environment, you know, to try and advance the story, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, uh, another thing as well is, I said the levels look absolutely, you know, brilliant as far as PS1 goes, but um, explosions as well, you know, when you set off like um, grenades and stuff, you'll get this really, you know, cool, bright explosion. It's not all polygony, and I just thought it looked like really cool and stand out, especially with the good sound effects. And there's some absolutely fantastically corny, um, like, you know, voice acting in the game. It's, it's terribly British and just some parts are just absolutely hilarious. Okay, Vaughan, let's get down to business. <clears throat> we lost contact with the outpost some five hours ago. Now, the recon team we dropped in has gone missing as well. Excuse me, sir. 
Uh, we're gonna have to let the lieutenant down here. You okay? Those things, they attacked the hospital. We tried to hold out, but it was useless. They must have thought I was dead. They butchered all the injured men. I had to watch as they... Easy, soldier. Hold on. I'll find some morphine and fix you up. Thanks, Dr. Khan. Okay, time to roll. Vaughn out. Now, would you expect that guy to talk like that? He might be a badass, but he's terribly, terribly polite. Now, yeah, so basically that's C12 Final Resistance, and it's a really fun third-person shooter on PS1, and it looks good, and it plays good, and it sounds good. So definitely check it out. Definitely an overlooked gem, especially by myself, probably because it came out around about the time PlayStation 2 was released, and maybe I'm not the over only one who's overlooked it. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching, people. I'll leave you like I always do, and thank you for watching. And you know, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, you know please you know hit that like button or if you've enjoyed it in particular please hit that subscribe button and like always please 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 leave a comment people because I love your feedback excellent thanks very much people and hopefully I'll catch you next time bye